Okay, in this lesson, we are going to learn about the safety features of an electrical system. Okay, the lesson objectives. Do pause and have a look. So what are some of the safety features that's in our home electrical system? Okay, so this is the, actually a, a tripping plug. So this is what is inside. You will notice that there are three wires. So the red and brown is so-called live wire. The blue and the, this blue color is the neutral, and the green and yellow is the earth wire. So why is there three wires? Um, before we go into that, um, also introduce to you this piece of device called the fuse. Okay, but we'll leave it for later. So how is it? Uh, how is the wire connected to the kettle? The live and neutral wire are for the electrical current to flow from the mains to the kettle. So generally it starts from live, goes into the heater, and back to the mains through the neutral. So this will be the electrical flow from live to the heater back to the neutral. So what's the earth wire for? The earth wire is usually connected to the a metal casing of the kettle but first uh, it has to be connected to the earth okay, at the mains and it's connected to the metal casing notice that it's not connected to anything else it's not connected to life, it's not connected to neutral it's just connected to the metal casing of the kettle so it's actually not part of the circuit it is there to protect users from possible electrical shock due to faulty wirings so imagine that uh, if there's no earth wire, for electrical appliances with metal or conductive outer casing, there's always a risk that a live wire may accidentally touch the metal casing. This could be due to damaged insulation due to age or wear and tear, leaving the live wire exposed. It means that now the met outer metal casing will behave like a live wire as they are connected. So when a person touches a live casing, you will get a nasty electrical shock as the live wire will deliver a strong electrical current to the ground through the person. So with an earth wire connected to our casing, in the instance that when an exposed live wire touching the metal casing, the electrical current will now flow from the live wire to the earth wire instead. So this will keep the person safe as there is no or little current flowing through him when he touches the casing as the majority of the current flows from the live to the earth so generally this is how the earth wire protects you from electrocution let's come to the fuse in this tree pin pump there is another safety feature known as a fuse okay it's just like this so it's actually a thin uh, wire that's inside so a fuse is a wire that will melt when the current flowing through it exceeds a certain value. So this is an electrical symbol. This value is known as the rating of the fuse. So it will be written outside. Right. So when a bigger than normal current, which is in this case more than 30 ampere flows through the fuse, you will melt or so-called blow. This results in the connection between the mains and the electrical appliances to break. So this will prevent an abnormally high current from flowing to the electrical appliances which may cause damage to it or cause electrical fire. Both the fuse and earth wire have worked hand in hand to improve the safety of the electrical appliances. So what happens is that the fuse is actually uh, connected to the live wire this side. Okay, and then the live wire uh, as per normal. How does it work? Remember that whenever the live wire touches the outer casing, it will cause a huge surge of electrical current through from the live wire to the earth wire. In this case, the earth wire uh, will protect the user from electrical shock if he or she touches the metal casing. This surge of current will also cause fuels to melt. So in this case, when a, current a huge surge of current flows through, this will cut off. And this break in connection will prevent further high current inflowing through the electrical appliances to save it from damage. Imagine that you, uh, 
you only have earth wire without a fuse. So when the live wire touches the earth wire, okay, through the metal casing, so what will happen is that the large amount of current will still flow from live to earth wire because there's no cut in terms of the current. Though the users are protected from electrical shock, the continuous high current flowing through the wire will cause the wire to heat up and may cause electrical insulation to burn and cause electrical fire. But what if uh, only the fuse is present but there's no earth wire? Whenever an exposed live wire touches our casing, without the earth wire, the casing is actually still dangerous to touch. So this is still live. And when a person touches it, then it will cause a large current to flow through him to the ground. Though in this case, the fuse will melt due to the large current and prevents further current from flowing through the person, the damage to the person is already done. Another thing to note that the fuse must be connected to the live wire in order for the safety features to work. So it must be in this configuration. So imagine that what if it's not Okay, if you connect the fuse to the neutral. So in this case, what will happen is that whenever there's a faulty where the live wire touches the casing, a huge current would uh, flow through the live again to the casing to the earth. But this case, there's actually the fuse will not melt because the high current actually will just only flow from the live to the earth. And it doesn't flow through the neutral wire and the fuse. Thus, this time, the fuse will not melt and fails to cut off the connection to the electrical mains. That's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.